I am so impressed. Please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hello vegan food explorers. I am your vegan food explorer and I have got a stacked video today. It's something I've been really excited about reviewing and it is the Richmond meat-free char-grilled no chicken pieces. I've got so much to say about this product. First of all, did you know that the company that owns Richmond also used to own the company which was called, <coughs> excuse me, Naked Glory and Taste and Glory? Did you know that? The reason why they ended was because it's such a competitive market and they said they wanted to focus on their one brand, Richmond, which had been a runaway success. So they binned Taste and Glory, Naked Glory, which was at first bad news, but then it turned into epic news when they announced that they're actually going to be rolling a lot of the products over into the Richmond portfolio. And this is one of them. This was used to be a really fantastic product from Taste and Glory, and now it is from Richmond. So this comes in a refrigerated and it comes in a frozen. This is the frozen. I actually picked up the refrigerated one, walked all the way over to the frozen section to buy some more stuff and then realised that the frozen one is so much cheaper. So this is on offer at the moment for £2.50. It's normally £3, but for £2.50 you get 220 grams. Um, it's so much better per gram than the fridge ones, which felt really, really small. I think it was about 160 grams. You get something like that, which is, you know, it's just like by the time you've eaten that, it's just like one meal sometimes or, you know, very small. This is much better with 220 grams. So then we're going to get on to what's in it. It's made from uh, soy protein, okay? Soy protein, I'm a big fan of. It's a complete protein, which means it has great amounts of amino acids, essential amino acids, which is great if you're into your fitness, your muscle building, things like that. But what's also great is per 100 grams, because per 100 grams, a lot of these foods, they do have relatively high protein, sometimes over 10 grams of protein, which is okay, but they're often quite high in fat as well. You, I find that a lot in vegan burgers, but, this is 20 grams of protein per 100 grams. It's just 143 calories, which is fantastic. And it's got just 4.6 grams of um, fat. That's basically similar to a, like a, a vegan protein shake. It's got a bit more fat in calories wise, but for something that actually tastes really, really nice, that's awesome. So they are frozen. Um, they've been sat in the boot of my car, so they're being a bit um, defrosted at the moment. But how we cook them is basically, you can hob them for eight to nine minutes. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. You can also cook them in the oven, or you can even microwave them. I'm a big fan of microwaves, but I don't, there's just something wrong about microwaving, like something that's kind of, should be raw chicken. So. We're not even gonna go from that. I'm sure it's absolutely safe, and if you just need the snack, then I'm sure it's great. We're gonna do it at hob, just like you would with chicken. We're actually gonna cook a stir fry, but I'm gonna cook all of that separately. We're gonna cook this, and we're gonna see what it tastes like on its own. I'm really, really excited. So, let's get cooking. Let's get straight into this video. I'm gonna do a bit of a um, pan over the top the chicken, not chocolate, chicken, just to give you an idea. I am so impressed. I can't believe it, to be honest. It's so realistic, it's insane. Even how it cooks is crazy. It's kind of getting a little bit stuck to the pan, but it's because it's got that those layers of chicken, like vegan chicken, it is incredible. Okay, I can't wait anymore, let's taste it. I'm really looking forward to this, okay. Let's try a big bit like this. It just looks so realistic as well. I, I can't believe, I actually honestly can't believe it. It's crazy, can you see that? It's got those layers. So it's got the layers of like the muscle fibers. It's got bits popping off it. It's so irregular, just like an organic product would be. Um, and a natural product is what I mean there by organic. Then the colour as well, how it's actually cooked is like chicken. It's kind of got a little bit more cooked on some bits, but then it's a little bit more tender in others. Smell, smells great. It's very neutral flavour. It is called char grilled, but I kind of think it's, it's more like roasted, it feels like. I guess char grilled is fine. Okay, I'm going in for a, a taste, let's go. That is unreal. It's just amazing. It's so good. 
it's tender. It's, it must have some sort of, oh, it feels like maybe it's from the cooking or from the ingredients, but the oil, it's really moist, it's tender. You bite through, it's slightly harder on the outside, but it's super tender on the inside because it's got those layers that you know, slide off each other as you bite in. It really does taste to me similar to the, um, what the cluck in that it's got those textures, but in my opinion, this is another couple of levels higher than that, where it feels even more natural. This is a seriously, seriously good product. I actually think this might be the, this in my opinion, it's official, is the best vegan chicken out there. It's so unbelievably real that I love it. I also really love the macros of it. It's top, top, top. So there you have it. I've now got some stir fry on the go, which I'm gonna cut it up into a little bit. I think potentially, how could they make it better? I honestly don't know. I think just keep going, keep developing it. It's not a 10, it's a nine though. This is a serious nine product. I think, I do think you could trick a vegan with it, a non-vegan with it very easily. But I think if you did a face-to-face, -face, I think you might be able to just tell it's slightly rubbery, very, very slightly in my opinion. But apart from that, this is a barnstorming vegan product. Any product out actually it's really really fantastic so i hope you agree with me let me know down in the comments do you like it do you hate it are you a fan of richmond do you hate richmond do you miss the branding of taste and glory because it was pretty cool but i'm really glad they've taken it underneath the richmond brand i'm looking forward to the stir fry thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video